welcome back to my channel if you're new or an oldie welcome 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 back to my channel happy new year you guys in today's video i will be showing you guys the new dubious place mini eyeshadow palette they did launch four different eyeshadow palettes this was my last pr package that i received last year literally a few weeks ago but it's the first kind of like new makeup that i get to play with in this new year which i'm super happy about so i'm going to show you guys swatches review i'm going to use each other palette as well and kind of share with you my my thoughts and opinion on how this baby works and if you guys are interested on like purchasing this i'll just give you some more information so so first of all, let's go ahead and show you guys the packaging, how it looks. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about these palettes. Are you into like mini, mini eyeshadow palettes or not? Also, just want to quickly mention, I don't know what happened. I have not dropped these, but one already came off like out of the pan. Not sure why. I'm going to drop that baby back in there. But I must say that I absolutely love Juvia's Place eyeshadow. They are by far one of my favorite shadows ever. But I want to see how this shadows work. I love the packaging. I actually like, like the mini series, the mini collection. Um, I feel like it's very comfortable for a lot of people as well because you don't have a huge palette overwhelming you with so many different colors especially if you're not into colors it can definitely be a little bit overwhelming i completely understand that me personally not nah, tiny we love color here i love playing with a bunch of different eyeshadows i don't have a problem but i do like it because it's very travel friendly as well these especially are very monochromatic you have six, six different shades that kind of go with each other which is really nice it's gonna pair super well with each other so i'm gonna start with the first one which is called nude this one is the nude palette and as you can see it's very pale very light a whole bunch of neutral pretty shades you do have six different shades three different shimmers and three different mattes which i like so it's even out really really cool love this palette you guys it's super super cute it's very convenient for people that don't wear like super dark colors or people that just don't wear eyeshadow on an everyday basis and you want something like quick and easy this one it's a definitely must have Next, we're going to go on to the, the chocolates palette. I absolutely love this packaging. I absolutely love the color. It is so, so stinging cute. The shades are so, so beautiful. And in this one, you do have four different mattes and two different shimmers. I do wish we had a lighter shimmer for some reason, but um, I still love the colors. They're very, very chocolatey. And just to mention, we have kind of like a gradient effect going here because we go from light to darkest in the browns area. And then you have a like lighter and darker sort of of shade range that makes sense like a palette it's dark lighter and the other one is like darker i don't know if that was meant to happen but just saying you guys it's like almost like going in a gradient effect i really like the whole the whole look of it it's it's pretty awesome you see what i mean like from lightest to dark it's like it's swatch pretty nice you guys the the pigmentation is there it feels very very rich i really like how it's swatched very nice the shimmers are always like stinking beautiful you guys i don't have a problem with them Next, we're moving on to the sh to the palette Violets. Violets, it's literally more like a mixture of purples and violets. It's very, very nice. This one does has four different shimmers and only two mattes. They swatch really, really well as well. I really like this palette also. And I cannot wait to show you guys how it looked on the eyes, of course. We're going to be using all of these palettes. Also, got to let you know that these are cruelty-free, just in case I did not mention that. And then, last but not least, we have the, the Berry palette. And this is just... A whole bunch of beautiful range of berry colors we have a super beautiful bright pink here which i also use for new years and absolutely love it, you guys and so here we have a different mixture of like texture shadows because we have two different shimmers we have two different mattes and we have two different like set and finishes shadows where they are matte will have like these little tiny bits of shimmer make sense i hope it does it is such, such a beautiful palette if you're into color i would highly recommend this one i feel like it's just so pretty and you could get a lot of like beautiful tones beautiful eye looks so there is that each eyeshadow palette will retail for $13.99 and you guys the best part of it all is that they always have discount codes which is super nice a lot of uh, big influencers do have discount code with them i personally don't and by the way this collection mainly contains most of their requested like eyeshadow colors so that's why they kind of created this mini series here which i absolutely love i feel like it's super cute you get a lot for the type of quality that these shadows are they also will be having the whole bundle i do not know the price for that because it's still haven't launched as of right now that i'm filming this so i'll keep you guys updated on the description below i'll make sure to keep you guys updated in the description below so make sure to check that out now you guys i'm going to show you an eyeshadow look that i did create 
created with this eyeshadow palette right here which is the nude so we're gonna start with the first shade which is this the last on the second row and I'm gonna be applying that all over the outer crease all over the outer eyelid on the outer eyes and then I'm gonna bring that towards the inner corners this is a very pretty light shade very neutral and then I'm gonna go in with the second top row second shade I'm gonna apply that all over there like the beginning of the of the eyelids and I'm just practically creating this gradient effect and of course making sure I go back and blend everything out next I'm gonna be using the top row two shimmers I absolutely love these shimmers you guys the first one when you look at it it kind of reflects like peachy but it's actually not peachy honey it's more it has more gold tone to it it looks peachy but with gold reflex and I went ahead and I first applied on the inner corners all the way in like in the beginning of the lids uh, the first shade right here right after that I went ahead and applied the gold shade on the top row of this palette look I wanted to keep it super simple for those of you that don't really wear makeup or don't even wear lashes I went ahead as far as not to wearing lashes here because I wanted to make sure I have a look for everybody in here so so this is the final look you guys for this look I went ahead and applied some mascara and just called it a day like that went ahead and did my face of course to make sure everything looks intact next I'm gonna go move on to the chocolate palette which I absolutely love this palette but unfortunately I did end it up like moving in a different direction i ended up mixing the chocolate palette with the violet palette and kind of got a combination more violet tones because i just i just stepped away from the chocolate palette i'm so sorry you guys because for this look i wanted to use the chocolate palette so bad but i ended up like mixing it with the violet and as well as the berry palette because i wanted to add some more color i don't know this is going to be extremely extremely fun uh look so let's go ahead and show you guys how i created it first of course i went to the chocolate palette and i used and I'm using the first sh the top first shade on this palette and I'm kind of creating this cut cr crease then I'm gonna move on to the violet palette and I'm taking and I'm taking the top row last shade and I'm applying that right on the on the beginning and then I'm gonna go ahead and also blend it with a brown which it was a nice mixture as well I was not expecting that at all it did end up blending out really well as well went to the second row last shade and started applying that on the inner part just to kind of again get that gradient effect and then I went ahead and blended everything out sort of just to create just to make sure everything looked blended and smoky moving on i went ahead and did a gut crease took the second row on the berry palette beautiful pink applied it right on the inner corners it's very vibrant i absolutely love this shade and then i also went ahead back to the nude palette and took the second shade on the top row as well as first shade on the bottom row i feel like i used all of the all of the palettes on this look and i did not like that mixing all these different shadows did not turn out well but anyways moving forward i went ahead finish up the look by adding some glitter as well as adding some details like a white liner then i went ahead and applied some lashes for my lower lashes i did ended up using the same colors basically from the berries palette i know you guys this took a completely different turn and then I, for my waterline, I did add a different color just to add more to the drama. Anyways, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy that one. Moving to the next one, I am going to be using the Berries palette for this one only. So I'm going to start, and this is going to be more of a pink, super easy pink look. I did went ahead and did this look for my for New Year's. I absolutely love how it turned out, and I it was super easy, you guys. So from the first row, I took the second shade, applied it on the crease, technically packing everything on. Then I went ahead and took that beautiful pink and applied it all over the eyelid. I did want it more like a smoky pink look, and I absolutely love the way it turned out, you guys. I don't know why, but I've been so into pink lately. So then I took the pink shade and applied it on my outer corner and blended it towards the crease. Kind of like the same effect that I, I sh usually always do. Um, I blended it in towards the inner corners, as you can see here, kind of creating that like sort of smoked up, but not so much. And then I went ahead and took the top row, the second shade right here, and applied it on the inner corners to kind of get that gradient effect. It was this was so so simple, you guys, super easy. What made it look a little bit more dramatic was that I added a little bit of glitter from ABH, one of their pigments, and I also added a wing liner from ABH as well, just because I wanted to make it look a little bit more pop. And I didn't have much time on my hands, so this is what I could come up with. Um, I went ahead and put some lashes. Did the same thing on the bottom lashes. Do, using the same colors and it's now super super pretty i really love that way this this one turned out i kept it super simple pop some lashes on some mascara and call it a day this is how everything turned out 
Anyways, let me know how you guys liked it. I really love how this looks turned out. Let me know what you guys thoughts are. I really am enjoying these uh, palettes. I definitely want to use this one more, the chocolate palettes, which is one of like the ones that I wanted to use completely and ended up only using one shade. I don't know why. But anyways, I do like the shades, you guys. I just feel like they're not the same as they used to be. I don't know what's happening with a lot of brands. I just feel like they just kind of like continue getting cheaper and cheaper. I don't know what's the deal here. These shades are not exactly the same, but there's it's still like pigmentation is there, but they're not as like buttery as they used to be for some reason. At least that's how it feels to me. I do like them. They, they work really nice. I do like the shade range. If you're gonna get anything, I would highly recommend these. The chocolate palette and the nude palette. Palette are my absolute favorite. I don't know if it was just this palette or what happened, but we did have a malfunction here as well. So I don't know what's that about, honey. Like, if I'm paying $13, I want this to be sticking on real well here. Still love them. I love Juvia's Place. I love working with Juvia's Place. I love their eyeshadow. Like, they're just bomb.com to me. So I love them to death. And thank you so much for sending these over. This was Sunset PR, by the way, you guys. Super grateful. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you on my next one. And if you want to see more, more Juvia's place videos from me i do have the link right here somewhere in the screen for you guys to check out if you want to see more of their foundation i do have reviews on everything almost on juvia's place so i got you girl anyways i'll see you babes on my next one bye